Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm very, very excited. It is still 30 degrees in the UK, so please bear with me. I am doing my best to ensure that my face is not sweaty. <laughs> because it's so hot. I may have to put the fan on because the makeup will start to melt and I really want you to see how this looks on my face. Without further ado, I am introducing you today to the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palettes. These are the new palettes that have just been launched. There are four palettes, three of them have colours. The fourth one is one where you basically decide which palette you want in there and I'm going to go through each one in this video so you can see how it looks. Now I have a full face of Hourglass today. I have their new hydrating skin tint on in the number 10. I also have some concealer in the sepia colour which is also Hourglass so I will show you that as well. As well as that I've got some Hourglass eyeshadow. I have the curated palettes that I curated myself and I have been using this colour on my eyes today. And I also have one of their eyeliners on. I think it's in the colour K and it's one of their new gel proof eyeliners so pretty much a full face of hourglass I just wanted to show you everything that I had on so I'm really really sorry with the humming in the background with the fan but I don't have any windows open so I really need to have a little bit of cool air and also show you how well these palettes work now I have a whole set I purchased everything because I have been collecting hourglass for a long long time and one of my favorite things from hourglass is their ambient lighting palettes and this one is the unlocked one which is usually limited edition it usually has a number of shades in there that you can do a full face with and this time round as you probably would have seen all over social media Katie Scott who is a designer has designed four different palettes now I have all four of these palettes and I'm going to explain why I have four hourglass launched four different palettes but only three of them are ones with colours in them and the Owl palette is the one that you can actually curate yourself and decide which palette goes in there. However I wanted to pick up the snake one because I wanted a backup and it's a long story but I think I might be returning the snake one. I always like to collect these palettes and I like them to be in really good condition. Now I don't mind myself wearing them out and it being worn out because I've used it but if I pay for something I expect that it will be in very good condition or the best condition so today I'm going to be showing you three of those because obviously the fourth palette is just the same as the other three where I've picked out the one I want I hope that makes sense I also picked up their brush which is their travel powder brush which is limited edition as well and it's in the snake design I originally wasn't that keen on the snake design I had FOMO and I didn't want to miss out on this collection because I did pick up all of the other pieces. Unfortunately, when they launched, I was on holiday. I think I was at a wedding and I was in Ireland and they were released and I wasn't able to get them very quickly, but they have delivered these really quickly and I thought, this weekend I would film and show you all of these palettes in their glory. As we go through each palette I'll explain which colours are existing shades and which colours are new shades. Today I'm essentially going to go through each one, show you a look with each one and give you my thoughts really on this entire collection because I love Hourglass and I think that nobody does their ambient powders like they do so i'm very very excited about this launch our highly anticipated ambient lighting edit unlocked palettes return featuring artwork that celebrates the beauty of nature and helps unlock change to protect animal rights each palette includes new and best-selling shades for a glowing complexion in a single palette the ambient lighting edit unlock collection includes limited edition palettes featuring snake leopard and jellyfish that support the non-human rights project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals Hourglass will donate 5% of annual profits from this collection to the non-human rights project. As we go through each one, I am going to use this new brush as well to show you, but I'll also tell you which ones are existing within the collection and which ones are new. So let's start off with the leopard palette. Now leopard print is one of my favourite prints and I had to get this. There is one new shade in here 
the rest are pre-existing already so I know that a lot of people won't necessarily want this palette but I thought I'd show you the additional new colour but also show you the arm swatches of all of these as well as just showing a look on my face for you. They're all 12 months in terms of the longevity. It comes in this beautiful packaging and what I like about this and they don't normally do this and they didn't do this with the previous collection is that there is a protector on it which is really nice because I received some of these palettes and they haven't been in the best condition I don't know if that's the same as anyone else so I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've received any like that this is what it looks like so you can see two leopards kind of facing each other and it's just beautiful I think their packaging just gets better and better every year We're going to open it up and these are the shades. So we have Dim Light, which is a finishing powder. Then we have Celestial Strobe Light, which is a strobe powder. Then you've got Mood Exposure, which is a blush. Then you've got Iridescent Rose, which is also a blush. Then you have the new colour here, which is Ethereal Flush, and that's a blush. And then at the end, you've got Lustrous Bronze Light, which is a bronze. Now, what I love about this is it's a complete package. So if you were to take this away, you could use this palette as your one and done palette. It really saves you having to carry lots and lots of things around. So these palettes retail for £86, which is a lot. You really have to think about which ones you're going to pick up. As a content creator and as a collector, I've picked up all of them, but you don't necessarily have to have all of them. And we're just going to do an arm swatch now of these before I apply it. We have here Dim Light, and we have Celestial Strobe Light. We have Blush, this is Mood Exposure. And then the next one down is Iridescent Rose, which is also a blush. Then we have the new colour, which is Blush Ethereal Rose. And then on the end, we have a bronzer, which is Lustrous Bronze Light. This formula is so beautiful. It's like it's baked and it's just so unique to Hourglass. So before I demonstrate, I'm just going to show you the Travel Powder brush, which has the snake design. I'm not sure why this was only in the snake design. It's really, really lovely. It feels really soft against the skin, and I think it will look great when I am trying out the products. This says it's made in China. Everything now is vegan, I believe, from Hourglass. To clean, gently clean brush with mild soap and water, lay flat to dry. This is going to be really lovely to try the products with. I just thought I'd show you the brush. And here is the beautiful design up close. Snakes may not always be everyone's cup of tea, but this is absolutely gorgeous design feels very very soft so this is the beautiful leopard palette and you get this gorgeous size mirror so that's another bonus as well is you get to use this mirror you know if you're out and you need a big mirror you've got everything in one let's start off with the first color here which is in the color lustrous bronze light Oh, that's pretty. That's really nice. You know, I don't really need that much, to be fair. That feels really, really nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. For the bronzer, I think this brush works perfectly. I'll get my ambient brush for this palette. Be back in one second. For those of you that aren't familiar, Hourglass do a brush that fits this palette perfectly. This is the one I normally take with me when I'm traveling and I really like it because it's double-sided but also you get the opportunity to get a little bit more closer because of the smaller brush and then the larger one you can use as a blending brush. So I really like this brush so I think we're going to use this one for like the other parts. I'll keep the larger brush for the bronze and then use these for like the highlighter and the blush because I want to be a bit more 
precise with it. We're gonna go into the blushes now. I am really keen on trying the new color. So I think what we'll do is instead of using the two that everyone knows, which is the two that are already existing, I'm gonna go in with the newer blush to show you how it looks on my skin tone. Now the new blush is called Ethereal Flush, which is number five, and that is that one. So I'm gonna take the larger side of the two. So you do get a little bit of kickback, that's because it's very finely milled. And we're just gonna put it on there. Ooh. I knew this shade would suit me because it's got a lot of pigment and I can see it's quite strong. Very pretty. Just like to take it a little bit here. Just the bridge of the nose. Give myself some colour. Oh, I'm already liking this palette. It's really, really nice. So what I'm going to do now is take the highlighter shade, which is the one at the top, which is the second one down, which is that one. And that one is called Celestial Strobe Light. So I'm going to use that as like a highlighter and go in with the smaller side of the brush. Oh, look at that. I mean, I didn't even need to touch that. Can you see how pigmented that is? Well, I don't think I need that much, but I'm just showing it to you so you can see it on camera. I mean, I hardly touch that. And then I'll just put a little bit on the tip of my nose and then a little bit on my forehead there. But wow, can you see that? That's a lot more pigmented than I thought. Now, if you do go in with a heavy hand, like I did, unfortunately, just now, because I didn't know how strong it was, just take the other side of your brush and blend it out. Just to soften it, because obviously that was quite strong when I put it on. And there's nothing wrong with just taking it and blending it out. What I love about the ambient powders is that it softens your skin it makes your skin look blurred and creates such a gorgeous effect i think this ambient powder is suitable for all skin types purely because it doesn't sit in the crevices of your skin creates such a gorgeous glow but also a natural look it's stunning so this is the leopard one and what i'm going to do now is just go away I'm going to add some lip and I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts on this palette and then we're going to move on to the next palette. I am so excited but I didn't get to show you the other two shades. The reason I'm not today is because these are shades that are pre-existing already. Now if you want this is up to you. You can add it to your face if you need to. You can play around, but I mean, I just want to stick with this colour because I think this blush is absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to go in a little bit more with the same blush and just add a tad bit more to blend with the highlighter. I'm in love with this blush. This colour is gorgeous. Wow. I'll be back in a minute with my lip. So I've just gone away and I've added some lip and I thought the best thing to add right now because it's so warm is the Hourglass Volumizing Glossy Balm in the colour Desire. It's one of my favourite shades from this particular range because it seems to go with a lot of stuff as well. It just has that cooling effect which is perfect for a hot sunny day like today in London. This is the first look with the Leopard palette. I have to say I'm so glad that I've got this as an all-in-one. It suits my complexion to a T and you can see that it didn't take long to create this look at all. I know that I already had foundation on with some eyeshadow. It really doesn't take long. These ambient lighting palettes are the best thing that Hourglass do and I think that's why the popularity is so high because People don't necessarily want individual pieces. They can kind of want everything in one sometimes. And this is so handy for when you're going to work, when you're traveling, when you're abroad, when you just want everything in one place and you don't have a lot of time. Like we're talking like a five minute makeup routine. I think this is perfect. This is Leopard and this blush has blown me away at how beautiful it is. So I hope this has helped. So let's move on to the next palette. This is Jellyfish and Jellyfish, I believe, has three new colours. So let's take a look. Again, it comes in this gorgeous packaging. You pull off that part. 
this is jellyfish so let me quickly tell you all the shades so you've got diffuse light which is the first one here and this is a finishing powder Then you have the new color here which is new this is called rose fusion this is a blush then you have a new color here which is called opal strobe light and that is a strobe powder then you have a new color here which is called new lunar bronze which is a bronzer then you have diffused heat which is an existing shade and then you have ethereal light which is also an existing shade and it's a finishing powder let's take a look at these as an arm swatch so we're going to start off with the first one here you have diffused light which is a finishing powder which is existing you have the new color which is new rose fusion which is a blush you have the new color which is the opal strobe light and that is a strobe powder you have the existing shade which is the ethereal light which is a finishing powder you have diffused heat which is a existing shade and it's a blush and then finally you have the bronzer which is a new bronzer and it's called Luna Bronze and that's a bronzer. So I'm so excited now we're going to try a second look. I'm going to use this brush again which is that snake limited edition brush. I'm going to use that for the bronzer again. So we're going to try the bronzer which is the one in the corner here which is the new bronzer and it's in the colour Luna Bronze. I like this bronzer because it's a little bit more lighter than the one in the leopard one. And sometimes I like that when it's every day, sort of lighter, medium toned. This one is really good for that. I like that color a lot. That is the new bronzer. We're gonna take my brush, we're gonna try the blush, and then we're gonna try the new strobe powder. This is the new blush in Rose Fusion. Oh, that's nice. It's really really pretty and then I'm going to take the strobe powder with the smaller end of the brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the diffuse light powder which is the permanent one that we all know I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes I think that the overall finishing powder, which is the ethereal light, may be too light for my skin tone. So I'm literally just going to dab a little bit, tap it and just give it a wash in my T-zone. I forgot to add the dim light to my first look, but everyone knows what dim light looks like. So I don't think you really need to see. It's one that everybody knows really well. What I like about this one, it's a little bit more subtle than the previous one. I found that the strobe light was less powerful, less strong, but also even the blush was a little bit softer and so was the bronzer. So I think this would suit someone with a fairer skin tone, I believe. This is the jellyfish one. I think the first one would be great for a medium to tan. This one would be more sort of suitable for someone who's a little bit lighter. But I get away with it because I kind of sit in the middle. This is look number two. Just going to go away and I'm going to add a lip and I'll be back. Here we go. So this is look two. I've just got away, added some of the volumizing glossy balm in the color Impulse, which is that more reddish color. But this is look number two. Okay, so we are now on to the last palette. Now I say palette, but really I mean palettes. You could get the snake palette, but you could also get the owl one, which was exclusive online. And then you could put any of the colors inside this palette. So this was like a empty case. I, at the start, decided to put palette three, which is the one I'm about to review and show you, into the owl palette. And then later on I thought I might pick up 
this one as a backup because of the fact that five of these shades are new but also for the packaging itself when i received these two this one had a mark on the case so i'm waiting for hourglass to come back to me so i can get this exchanged or i may even just give it back because I'm not sure whether I just want to keep the owl palette. I'm going to use this palette today and I'm going to show you the new shades. So this essentially was the snake palette, but I've put palette number three inside the owl palette. This one has five new shades. So I believe radiant light is the only existing shade and then the rest are all new. This is what the owl palette looks like. So this is the design of the owl palette and you can see it's absolutely stunning. I think out of all of the ones that I picked up, this is my favourite design because I like owls, I really like the look of this, it's very clean, it's got the owl on the front, it's got the H in the middle, it's just stunning. I think the second favourite would probably be the leopard one because I like leopard and then jellyfish, but I mean I, I like them both to be fair. They could come second but this is probably my favourite. So when you open it up, these are the shades, so this is definitely more on the warmer side. And I think this would really suit someone of a darker skin tone. So let me quickly go through the shades. You have Radiant Light, which is a finishing powder, which is here. Now Radiant Light is one of the permanent colours that they always have. And then the next colours I'm going to read you out now are all brand new shades. So you've got New Coral Haze which is this blush. Then on this side here, you've got the new Infinite Strobe Light, which is a strobe powder. Then you've got this one here, which is a new color sunbeam and it's a blush. Then you've got a new color here, which is the new Mystic Flush blush. Then you've got a new bronzer here, which is the new Solar Bronze. So you can see that all of these shades are fantastic for a darker skin tone. Medium to dark, I think this will look beautiful. First of all, I just wanted to say yes, Hourglass. Thank you for including more darker shades for people that are of a darker and a deeper skin tone. The first shade is Radiant Light, which is this shade here, and that's their finishing powder. That's their existing shade. Now the rest are all new. So you've got the new Coral Haze, which is a blush, which is this one. Then you've got the new Infinite Strobe Light, which is a strobe powder, which is this one. Then you've got Sunbeam, which is a new blush, this one, which is gorgeous. And then this one is the color Mystic Flush, which is a new blush. Then on this one, you've got a new Solar Bronze bronzer, and these are the new colors. Okay, so let's try this out now. We're gonna go in with the bronzer shade, using that brush again. definitely more of a deeper bronzer than the other two palettes. But the one that excites me the most I'd say is Sunbeam which is this one I think. So this is number four and I'm going to try this one first because it's got this kind of corally colour which I've not seen from a Hourglass palette. And the only one was the Tiger palette which I remember having a similar colour but it was definitely more on the orangey side. This one's kind of like a pinky orange but let's see how it looks. I'm going to use the brush which is the larger side. I'm going to go into that sunbeam colour. Oh isn't that gorgeous. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh this might be my new favourite shade from Hourglass. If they sold them in the single palette, I probably would have bought this because it's such a gorgeous shade. Wow. So pretty. This is a really lovely look when you've come back from holiday and you just want to enhance your tan. I think this and the bronzer shade just work perfectly together. I'm going to use their highlighter shade as well, which is new. 
And then what I'll do is, as I'm going through towards the end of the video, I'm going to try the other two new shades on my skin. I'm gonna do one on one side, one on the other, just so you can see. I'll give you my verdict on all of these at the end of the video. Let's go in to this new highlighter shade, which is this one here. And this one is called Metallic Strobe Powder Infinite Strobe Light. I'm gonna take the smaller side of the brush. It's definitely more on the goldy color. Very pretty. I definitely say this is more of a summer look because the colors just complement each other so well. That's gorgeous. I'm just gonna add some lip and I'm gonna come back. So I've just added some lip and wow, this is a gorgeous palette. I think that for a deeper skin tone, for someone that is tanned, this palette number three is gonna look gorgeous on you. I think the second one that I did is probably more for fairer and then the first one is like medium to tan but I believe that if you sort of sit in that medium to tan you could probably get away with quite a few of these palettes to be honest but wow Sunbeam is stunning So what I thought I'd do is just try the top shade, which is the new shade in number two, and that is called Blush Coral Haze. I'm gonna try that on this side. So I'm gonna take the larger part of my brush, that on this side. Oh, that's lovely. It's a gorgeous color. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the new shade, which is at the bottom of that. And that one is number five and it's called Mystic Flush. And I'm gonna put that on this side. I'm gonna use a smaller brush for that. So you can see the difference. So this one has a bit more of a shine to it. This one's more matte, but this one is the new color. This was in Coral Haze. And then this side is in the color five, which is Mystic Flush. Beautiful. So I thought I'd show you the palette of the one that I'm thinking of returning or exchanging, but it's just the design is just beautiful alongside all of Katie Scott's other designs. This is the snake one. And as I mentioned, this is the one that had the palette three inside it. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. So that is everything. I have shown you all of the new collection and I have demonstrated it all for you. I actually prefer them to the previous collection, which was the butterfly, the tiger. This feels as though they've really thought about the three different shades and how they all work together. I felt like I could use these a lot more as a whole and I'm so pleased with the color selection. Disappointed that the leopard one only had one new shade and the second one only had three, but this one had five, which was quite strange the way they did that. So it would have been nice to have more new shades. People will have a lot of selection as to what to pick from this collection because of the fact that I can see that they will suit different skin tones and work really, really well. I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts. Which ones have you picked up? Which ones will you be picking up? And let me know how they've looked on you. I'd love to know. Please let me know your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.